Hello, welcome to Aftad Village Kitchen, the home of traditional African delights. Here I teach you about Ghanaian foods, especially traditional Ghanaian foods. Plus, I give you some more. I give you some home quick meals, easy meals to you know change up your mundane dishes. So here it's all about learning techniques, tricks, kitchen hacks ways to make your life easy in the kitchen and to make cooking enjoyable plus i concentrate on our Ghanaian foods i i give you the knowledge the knowledge base about all our different ingredients our spices i'm very heavy on spices because i love spices natural spices for that matter so here you get to learn all about it okay so today i am here bringing you one of our favorite dishes which is called Wache, a street food, popular street food kind of dish. Wache, wache, and it's not just any wache, but then the wache comes with a stew, a special kind of tasty stew. So today I'm going to concentrate on the wache stew because you know what? Wache is not without, it's not wache without the wache stew. Yes, so I am going to teach you how to make wache stew. So right here in my own kitchen, in my Abrukche kitchen, because I live in London, in the UK, so I call it my Abrukche kitchen, which means being abroad. You can replicate a street kind of food in your own home. So follow me as I cook, and we'll be cooking right here in the pot. So do follow me, and let's get cooking. And whilst you're here on my website, my YouTube channel, don't forget to subscribe. If you want the full recipe as well for this watcher stew, it is in my 101 Ghanaian Cuisine, which is available on my website, www.afterdvillagekitchen.com. On the shop page, you can get this recipe book. It's an e-book, which is downloadable on all smart devices. Easy, easy to have it wherever you are to bring it up check for your ingredients buy them whilst you're shopping because it is on your smartphone or your smart device so and it's not that expensive so do check it out if you want the full recipe do check out my recipe book and you'll find the wachi plus wachi stew recipe in that book and let's get cooking. I'm using my ingredients for the wache. I am using some meat, a mixture of um, goat meat, some cow food, and you know, um, yeah, basically that and um, um, just cow food really. Sometimes I add the tribes. You know, you can use any kind of meat that you want, but I love goat meat, so yes, that's what I use. And I've got my tomatoes here. This is simmered tomatoes. This is canned, normal canned tomatoes that I have just simmered down. And in my pot, I actually used this pot in simmering it. All I did was to put the tomatoes, blend the tomatoes and put it in here uncovered. Do not cover, do not stay. Just leave it, let's get the heat going and let it simmer. If you think that it is going to burn, just shake it, shake the pot around a bit, swirl it around and it's good enough and let it, let the heat do its job. So yeah, for about 20, 30 minutes, it was simmered to this point. And this is um, onions, garlic, ginger, scotch bonnet, and some star anise. This is star anise. If you don't know what star anise is, this is star anise. Okay, so I added a bit of this to my ginger and onions and garlic blend with pepper. Okay, so I used some of this mixture in seasoning my meat. In seasoning my meat and I added some of my 10 spice blend if you don't know about my 10 spice blend you need to try it it is fantastic it is all the spices we use traditionally in cooking back home in kitten kitty pepper pepper is cloves in kitten kitty is aniseed ginger onions it's a, a lovely blend of the spices that we really like rosemary etc okay so do give it a try you can find it in shops in here in london or 
you can order straight from my website. I ship worldwide. So do take the opportunity to order some for yourself. So that was what I used. Basically this and this with some salt. So I've seasoned my chicken, my meat really, really well. And it's, um, I bowl, I let it season for some couple of hours and I bowled it until it's nice and tender, tender to the texture that I want. So for the stew, I have got some extra bits of onions that I have sliced here. This will, um, I'll start the, the stew with this. You'll see how I'll do it. And I'm going to add, you know, a bit of my 10 spice blend. That's how it looks like. A bit of my 10 spice blend. And here I've got, this is shrimps, okay? Dried shrimps, the same as the ones we use for our shito, the same kind. Dried shrimps. And I've got salt and I've got oil. And then I've kept the stock. This is the stock from the meat. It is filled with so much flavor, so you don't throw that away. You are going to add it to, to your stew. And that's basically it. That is all you need for your wachi stew. Let's get cooking. So I'm going to fry my meat first. I'm just frying the meat only, not the bones or the willy. No, it's just the meat only that I want to fry a bit. I'm using normal oil, you can use whatever oil you prefer. So the meat is browning, it's, it's, it's browned on one side, I want it to brown nicely on the other side, but whilst it's browning, I am going to add this, the onions, because I want the onions to caramelize, and it takes a bit of time, so you can wait for your meat to finish browning and frying before you add the onions. But you can also do, do this because um, the onions will also add so much flavor to your meat. Okay, we want maximum flavor in your meat. So, yes, you can do this. But then once the um, meat has fried nicely, I'll get it out. I'll take it out. I don't want it to be too crunchy. If you don't mind to, you can leave it in and cook the stew as normal. So the meat is, for me, this is good for me. I don't really like um, very hard meat. So this is just enough browning for me. So I'll take it back, put it back here with the other, the rest of the cow foot and the bones. And I'll let the onions continue to caramelize because you need it to caramelize for that, extra, that flavor. You know that flavor that you want in your streets kind of watch a stew mm -hmm. this is a secret stage if you want the full recipe a proper recipe to go by please i have a recipe book my 101 Ghanaian recipe book the full recipe is there everything has been measured and weighed for you and the steps have been given so you won't get it wrong but this is just a demonstration here on youtube but if you want um, an assistance, you can get my recipe book. It's really, really not expensive. £2.99 for an e and it's, and it's an e-book. It can go on all your smart devices. So even whilst you're shopping, you can get, get hold of it and look for your recipe and your ingredients, your recipe and then the ingredients and you can shop for it before you get home and then you get down to cooking. So my onions 
are just about right. You don't want to get in any browner than this. And now goes in my blended onions. The smell is just amazing. So I've just, um, I just rinsed out the bowl a little bit with a little bit of water. The smell is just amazing. It's just amazing. So now that we've added the onion blend, we need to let it also cook down really well and to have all that water simmer out of it. And whilst that is going on, I'm adding my 10 spice blend. That's basically all the spices I'm using. So no other spices goes in. So I have a tablespoon full. And remember, I use the same spice to season the, the goat meat. So that is, um, that will also come and add to it so there'll be enough spices in here. So the onions has fried really, really well. I'm now going to add in my tomatoes, cement tomatoes. Adding in the cement tomatoes. I'll just rinse this out with a bit of water and add it in. So I've just rinsed it out with just a tiny bit of water because the whole point of um, simmering the tomatoes is to cut out all that water and when you're making stew you have all that simmer, um, that bubbles and splash going everywhere. You want to cut it out. That's why you simmer the tomatoes and it cuts down the cooking time. So just look at this. The stew is almost, almost done. It's almost, almost done. I just, I will just let it fry really well. I'm mixing it really, really well. And I'll let it fry. So now that it's like this, the next thing will be to add in my, my um, meat, the whole lot, and the stock. I'm now adding in my meat, add everything, including any stock. And I'm going to add a bit of my stock as well, just a bit. Because I don't want the stew too loose. But it's going to, I'm going to let it, you know, stew for a bit while because I want all the flavours to infuse nicely before I even add any salt for seasoning. So this is it. So let it go on a gentle simmer and let all the flavors infuse and for it to, you know, stew a little bit more and the taste will just develop. And at the end, I'll be adding in my shrimp powder. Not yet, but at the end. So we'll let this keep going for a good while maybe 20 minutes or 30 minutes and we'll finish it off we correct the seasoning and add the shrimp powder so half cover it to let out some steam but to trap in some steam as well and on a gentle heat let it go and it will slowly marry and you know all the flavors will develop and it will be so good 
the stew is almost ready. It's ready actually, you can eat it now. Um, I haven't seasoned it, so I'm not going to season it. I've had a taste, it needs a bit of salt. And I'm adding in my shrimp powder. And I'm going to add in some salt for taste. And at this point, I didn't use a lot of pepper, okay? Because my I'm thinking about my kids and they need a bit of, um, well, they can't take that much heat. So I didn't add a lot of pepper. But at this stage, you can have a check if you want it to be really nice and hot. Just add in some cayenne pepper, the rough type, rough blend type or the smooth blend type but the rough blend type will give it that shitter kind of look so you can add in um that and it will taste fantastic right now it's ready to to serve just look at this lovely stew it goes with almost everything and anything not just for wache but it is a fantastic stew for everything i'm just going to mix this up with some pasta for my kids as well so something for you here. Lovely, lovely stew. All right, thank you all for watching. And if you love this and you try it out, I would love to hear from you. The recipe for a proper recipe, of all the full recipe, go to my website. It's in my my Ghanaian, 101 Ghanaian Cuisine, my recipe book. You can purchase it and download it onto any of your smart devices. Thank you very much.